we left Monkey Mire to sail around the beautiful Peron Peninsula towards Denham, pulling into anchor for the night at a rather exposed spot. So that anchorage is rubbish! It's rolly, look, it's rolly, rolly, you can just see it there. Can you see it there? It's side onto the waves. It's just, ah, oh, it's awful. This anchorage rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not going to be easy guys, but we're just going to have to roll with it. <laughs> also, on a more serious note, it's going to be a rough night. <laughs> this is Rob, and I'm Rachel, and these are our boys, Finn, Declan, and Ivan. We have sailed our catamaran Javelot across the Pacific Ocean. We would love it if you join us for the adventure. Going nice. We got 23 to 26 knots, gusting 28, and uh, flat seas. Uh, I'm a bit teary eyed with the wind in my face, just, just been out on deck. So we've got about 25 miles to sail, up anchored at just around 6 o'clock this morning, and uh, we've got two reefs in the main and we've reefed in the Janara as well. I mean, God, yeah, you have to. We were supposed to put in the first reef at about 18 knots, generally speaking. Uh, and then the second reef around 23, 24 knots. So we've pretty much nailed that uh, second reef now, accordingly. It's lovely sailing though, conditions right at the moment. Sidewalk barefoot down the trail to your house Voice like thunder call your name Ringing out, voice for our kingdom where we our arrival into Denham gives us the chance to plan our continued journey south to the Abrolhos Islands in a day or two. Denham, formerly a pearling town, is now the tourism centre for Shark Bay. The 1,000 residents welcome 170,000 visitors each year. Holiday makers arriving to fish, visit the dolphins of Monkey Mire and birdwatch the 200 species of birds found here. Today, Rob and fellow yachty Bradley are focused on just one of those feathered friends. So just going past this fishing boat, uh, couldn't help notice as we drove past, uh, a cormorant, a shag, was caught up on some netting up on the bow. Yeah, that's alright mate. Yeah, his mate's very concerned, as you should be. Don't worry mate, we're here to help, we're here to help. Don't freak out, it's okay. I don't think he's been there very long, eh? Righto Bradley, in you go mate. <laughs> no, hang on, I'll call help. Please. Poor old fella, oh he's just stuck his head in there. There you go. Yeah, just make sure he's... Just keep his head there mate, and I'll wait to get this one. Have knife. Oh, slowly, 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 slowly. Let's get this one ring out. Right. There we go. Let's do it, there. We're on your side, buddy. Just relax. One more. Oh, wait. There we go. Nearly, nearly, but hold up. There we go. Hold up. All right, one. Okay. One wing out. His fingers, feet's okay. Oh! Yeah. Did he get you? Yeah, he got me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, shocker. Right. We're on your side, bro. I'll try to lift him. <laughs> there we go. Let's see where. Oh, you got him. We got him. Oh, he's all good. All right. Okay. Here we go. Free at last. Oh. We got him, mate. Is he all right? Yeah. But I'm not all right. Oh, he got yeah, you. Yeah, little rep scallion. Anyway, you're free, bro. God, must be terrifying. He's got quite a good little bite Jeez. on him. Poor old thing. And there's another victim. We didn't get here in time for that one. Stop. 
bars where we always thought we'd stay Young and so We've got two reefs in the main, we're um, going across the uh, Shark Bay, heading out to Shelter Bay to get anchor tonight and get ready to head off to um, the Abrolis. First thing in the morning, probably 5am we'll leave uh, and hopefully we've got some easterlings that are going to send us to careering down the coastline for the Abrolis, which is about 130 miles away. We, we'll do an overnighter and uh, we're going to have a little bit of rough stuff scheduled but hopefully not too rough. Um, a little bit on the nose, but hopefully not too much on the nose. Um, oh, yeah. So, we're heading south, people. We're heading south. Young and so alive. It's dark and it's grainy, but we are going so far. Yeah, it's been great sail. We've done about 14 tacks up the channel. We and, are uh, racing along. Yeah, we're trucking along eight knots. We, um, it's real wild and blustery outside. What's the, speed? What's the wind to, speed? Uh, 28 to 30 knots, or yeah. 26 at the moment. Woo, and like uh, we're, we're stonking into the anchorage, we're going to have to come up and slide, yeah. drop the sails, throw down the pick. Yeah. And uh, we've got two reefs in, got half the Genoa. There's a few yachts in here. Um, we're anchoring with a few people, obviously, we're not the only ones looking to take the southerly, uh, sorry, take the easterly to get south from here. I guess we'll all be storming out at about 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah. Great! This is sailing, guys! Good morning, wonderful people. We are anchored in Shelter Bay, uh, near the exit of Shark Bay, and it's 5.30 a.m. We've just got up. We're going to hoist the sails. I've checked the weather. We want to get, we've got a small weather window of about 24 hours where we're sort of moderate sometimes favorable but still a little bit of headwinds by the look of it but not too bad moderate you know we don't want to get stuck here like we did in coral bay for a month we've been here a couple weeks already having so said that we were kind of yesterday we we're going to stay we were going to stay and then tori and pascal free range sailing they yeah. phoned and said we're gonna head south yeah and we were like okay cool we're <laughs> let's head south <laughs> and Joy if they said and if they said we're gonna stay we would have gone yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's stay. <laughs> the indecisive Hey, kiwi. listen here, I've been doing lots of research here, and I think... Hang on. Troy, we going? Yeah, that's how they're going. We're going. Okay. Hoist the sails. Let's do it. <laughs> Just what you hear there, Rachel. Boom. Boom, it's coming over. Coming over. Press steep point, the steep point, the most westerly point of mainland Australia. We didn't think we'd be seeing it again, but there it is. Yeah, good night guys. Where are you? Ah, uh, there it is uh, then. Let's see, we are... Okay. About 10 mile out. Yeah. 207 degrees true. Oh, cool. Okay, I was wondering, I thought, oh, maybe you didn't get through, but uh, oh, that's great. Well, uh, it's a little bit lumpy bumpy, but it's, you know, it's, um, we're ticking along, eh? Yeah, it's not too bad. We, um, I mean, we, we're sailing just a little bit looser just to maintain our speed, because, you know, just having some punch through, but also just to get away from those cliffs, you know, and put a yeah. put five, ten miles between us and hopefully get this, get rid of this cross sea. We'll probably hold this angle. While there's easterly, yeah. and then um, in the afternoon, yeah. and we'll tack in. Yep, with you on that, that's a good call. Okay, um, well, just to let you know, you're being filmed, so I hope you've uh, combed you here. Sorry, we didn't receive you then. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, there's something with the transmission on this thing. Can you hear me now? This button. Something. Yeah. Yeah, we lost them. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Have you guys got any lines out? Because we nailed a pretty nice little yellowfin tuna before. Oh. When I say nice, I mean our fridge is just busting at the seams. Oh, wow. Yeah, it slowed us down a little bit trying to trying to get him on board, but um, no, it's a ripper. Okay, I'm going to go put a line out. Standing by. Oh, let's go. Wherever the wind blows. 
There's an awful lot of this in the water. Look at that. Thick, thick, thick. And we think it's coral spawn. It's got a really kind of um, floral smell to it, kind of earthy maybe smell. And around the full moon. Oh, we've just caught a fish. Is it a little tuna? I think so, yeah. Oh, the little blue thing, I think it's so good, though. Oh, he's too little, man. Bye-bye. <laughs> Holy crap, did we go down, but... Yeah. Boys, pull him in the canal out. Well done, boys. Slow us down. Get a food. Nice to go. Well done, that's a beautiful fish, mate. That yeah, is a beautiful fish. Cracker. Oh, yeah. Like a time. Yeah. Sort of shimmy. It's really heavy. It's quite heavy, this. Yeah. It's cool. It is five o'clock in the morning and I hardly want to turn the camera on myself because I have just got out of bed. Declan did the first shift, he did 11 till one. Ivan did one till three, Rob did three till five. Now me, until when everybody gets up. Uh, which seems like I got the longest shift but I get the sun coming up, so there's the bonus. And I wake up about this time anyway, so not such a hardship for me. They had quite a hard night, they had a lot of wind, there was quite a fair bit of tacking going on, so I'm glad I missed that. Uh, we have just under 60 nautical miles to go to the Abrolhos. The wind's coming out the southeast and then it's going to go more easterly and so it's just going to be a, hopefully, a plain sail in. So that's a bit of a treat. So it's a lovely day, lovely day sailing. I've, just for some reason it struck me, looking out at this wide expanse of ocean, it really feels like I'm, like well, we are back in the ocean, like the open ocean. Even though I know just to the east of us there is land, like, I don't know, 40 miles, 30, 40 miles. But it feels like we could be a thousand miles from land anywhere. Just, you just get that sense of vastness and, you know, it's, it's great stuff, it's um, invigorating. I love Bob the Auto House. Bob is fantastic. Look at Bob steered us today, the wind shifted and you see where Bob just changed course to suit and we're coming up into the Wallaby Group and the Abrolhos. Oh, it's been such a great sail. Look at this! Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Bob, Bob, we love you, Bob. So how come you're on the helm, mate? Because I'm cool. That's why. That's why. You're giving Bob a rest. And your father told you they have the stairs and come into this anchorage, didn't they? Yeah. I haven't actually like turned the wheel at all. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, Dad, neutral. Maybe in reverse. Yeah, this is heavy. Yeah. Get the sides of the wheel. Oh, 
you gotta you gotta clip it onto that bit. Flat bit. Hurry up. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Okay, we're good. Fuck, that is a massive rope. Yeah. Honestly, Ivan did it, so. Oh, Ivan did it. Ivan. I, I did it. Might as well just redo it. The boat's. We're, we're we're done. Done. Looks good. We're Looks done. good. We're done. Look at that. Yeah, nice. Look at that. Look at that. So, this is. East Wallaby Island, also known as High Island, because it's the highest island. Clues in the name. We didn't come here last time when we were in the Abrolhos and we did the story of the Batavia. If you haven't watched the story of the Batavia, there's the link up there. Uh, good, it's a, a ripping story about a shipwreck that happened here and what happened to the survivors. Um, but. The importance of this island is this is the island where Webby Hayes was sent to look for water and they knew there was no water here. They thought he would perish, but they all um, waded across the reef at low tide to West Wallaby Island and where they did find water and that's why they survived. This is the first time we've been on this island. We're at the topmost point and just a little bit of history. I do like a little bit of history. So just stretching our legs after a couple of days on the boat. Very nice. Take it. Hello. I can't take it. Stop. <laughs> Hello. If you enjoyed this episode, please comment, give us a thumbs up, and best of all, share it. It helps us heaps. Come on, eat it so bad.